guide to getting in shape. An eight week journey that will change your life. Okay, you know what? If we're gonna be doing this for eight weeks, we're gonna have to have it a little bit more exciting to keep everybody's attention. Yeah, that's true. What would you suggest? Explosions and a cool catchy tagline? I like it. If you wanna get buff, you're gonna need the dudes. Rise and shine, dudes. It is 4.45 in the morning, and this is Hudson with your guide to getting in shape. All right, so it's quarter to five. I just had my rice cake with a little bit of peanut butter. I've got my jug of water that I'm going to be taking to the gym. And I had a little caffeine pill and a green tea pill. That's hopefully to pick me up a little bit, because to tell you the truth, I am really tired. I'm driving on my way to the gym, I'm going to meet Brandon, and we're going to do our morning workout. Alright, at the gym, here with Brandon, it's a little early, we usually don't talk much this early, <laughs> we usually just grunt and nod to each other. We're going to start off on the leg press. In a strange twist of fate, we were going to do squats, but everyone happens, it looks like everyone's doing legs today, which is really bizarre. Maybe they saw us coming, so they wanted to jump on the machines first. Anyways, we're starting leg press. Leg press, starting here. We're going to do one feel out set, pretty light, get around 20 reps in, and then we're going to move on to the working sets after that. We're going to pyramid up in weight and uh, go down in our reps. So we'll probably go as low as around six repetitions. We're going to go pretty high in weight. We want to put a lot of stress on those muscles. Good thing about the leg press, it's really going to isolate the legs. It's not going to involve too much core or lower back. So we can really build the strength and size in the legs. Fourth working set, 10 plates each side, 20 plates total. We're gonna try for uh, see how many reps. That is all she wrote. Not bad for 5 a.m. The Romanian deadlifts, one of our favorites. What we're gonna be doing on this one, once again, four sets. We usually do the warm-up set on our first exercise. In this case, we did our warm-up on leg press. On this one, we're gonna do about four, sticking between the 12 and eight rep range. Our weight belt just broke. Putting too much weight on it. Freaking snapped like it was nothing. Buff dudes, that's how it's done. Leg extensions, isolating those quads. Really getting that good pump, good detail. Once again, four sets 12, 10, 9, 8. So we're doing about five to six exercises for the legs here. Get one major lift in, and then we'll basically isolate either the quad or hamstring throughout the rest of the workout with various exercises, either being leg curls, leg extensions, so on. Hit some calves at the end. Rest time's about 60 seconds, 60 to 90. We only really rest uh, while one of us is actually doing the exercise. And then uh, workouts are probably around an hour, the real quick, real fast, get in and out. Hudson's doing some cardio afterward. I'm gonna head out to work. So yeah, that's about it. So nice and easy, in and out. Don't spend too much time in here, get the job done, and, and then you're out. We finished up with the leg curls. Once again, we did four sets on those, and we're gonna be doing four sets on the calf raises. Can't find a machine like this? Just do some standing calf raises, that'll work too. Breaking a sweat, trying to up the intensity as much as we can during these eight weeks. So the first day in, the leg day, really trying to keep the rest times down, up the weight, 
really hit it hard and definitely feeling it. So as we progress, we're just gonna keep going up in the intensity and keep raising the weight. Start to introduce supersets, drop sets, force reps, negative reps, things of that nature, just to really, really push it and keep, uh, keep the muscle confusion going. All right, we are all wrapped up with legs for the day. We did a total of five exercises and it took just about an hour. Now Brandon's gonna head out and I'm gonna do cardio for 30 minutes on elevation 10, three and a half miles per hour for 30 minutes. After a leg workout like that, doing that kind of cardio, you're gonna get that much more work on the legs because you're actually forcing the muscle to work on the incline with a pretty fast pace. So it's not only keeping your heart rate up, it's also still working the muscle as well, burning that much more calories and getting that much more detail in the legs. 29 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Whew. This always kicks my ass, but it's worth it because this is the guide to getting in shape. That's exactly what we want to do. There we go, all wrapped up with the cardio. I am beat, and that was rough, but I did it. And that's what it's gonna to take to get into shape. All right, entered the gym when it was dark out, exited, and it is sunny, and I am ready to start the day. Just wrapped up on that cardio, I'm gonna have my post-workout chocolate milk. It's almost like a little mini cheat meal every single day. Get those simple sugars and that protein. It is really tasty. Great thing about working out first thing in the morning, you get it out of the way and you're good to go. Now, I don't gotta worry about missing a workout, getting stressed out, anything like that at the end of the day. I'm gonna go home, have some breakfast, prepare my lunch, and then it's off to work. All right, back from the gym, came home, showered off, got all the sweat and grime from that workout and the cardio off of me, dressed and good to go. Now I'm gonna make breakfast. What I'm gonna be having is six egg whites, sweet potato, and four slices of lean turkey meat. And as I'm preparing that, what I'm gonna do is cook up one cup of quinoa. That's gonna go with my lunch, which is my salsa chicken that I cooked in my slow cooker on Sunday. And then when I'm finished cooking that, just gonna throw it in here, some ice packs to keep it fresh, and I'm gonna bring some snacks. I'm gonna bring some of the overnight oats and some cottage cheese. That's gonna consist of all the meals as I'm at work today. I'm at work usually for about eight or nine hours, so I need some of that food throughout the day, obviously. That's so I know that I'm eating right and I'm not tempted to go out and anywhere. All right, it's lunch, having my chicken and quinoa. It's a little late, it's 2 p.m. So, you know, not able to eat exactly when I wanted to, but this will do. And I burnt my quinoa, which sucks. So, already the day isn't going exactly how I want it to be. But you know what? That's the way it works. This is just a mild example. I mean, I may not have been able to eat at all. So the thing is, as you're doing something such as this, just get ready for setbacks. I mean, like I said, sometimes you won't even be able to eat a meal. Sometimes you'll be able, you know, you might miss a workout. But either way, as long as you're on the right path and as long as, you know, 90% of the time you're doing right, you give yourself a little room for failure. All right, it's dinner time. Got the hair down. I'm not looking like a henchman from a Steven Seagal movie anymore with the hair slicked back. The tilapia. Now what I do is I cook it in some water. I put a little pepper on it. And I'm gonna be having it with broccoli, cottage cheese, and just a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette on top. I just sprinkle a little bit of that on everything, on the tilapia and on the broccoli. It makes it taste really good. So I'm gonna eat that and go to bed. It's been a long day, started early, five o'clock. It is 8.30 now, kinda of eating dinner a little late, had a long day at work, but we are all done, so Monday's wrapped up. Week one, this is the easy part. You're working out, your body's getting shredded. The hard part is sticking with it. Those cookies look good. The Big Macs, the in and out what have you. So keep that mind strong, follow us along because we're in it for the long haul. At least, well, seven weeks, but that's pretty long for us and it should be. <laughs>
hell, I'm already ready for week two. That's how pumped I am. So we're gonna see you next week. All right, dudes, somebody give me my glasses. And a catchy tagline. Bigger, badder, buffer. Nice. Hudson is a little bit carb sensitive and I tend to be carb sensitive time to time too, even though I'm more of an ectomezo body type. I think I might have a little endo in me. I don't know. I might have some. Hopefully not, but I think I show everyone so. <laughs>